Hi guys, Haviku here with my cup of coffee and a little bit of a box opening actually to start this whole bullet journal video. I'm still struggling to figure out my setup with <laughs> this whole vlog video thing, but yeah. I got this new bullet journal from Archer and Olive and I bought it from a Danish shop. I got my bullet journal and my pens from handwritings.dk So to all your Danish followers out there I talked to this company and uh, you get a 10% discount with a coupon code that I will also leave down below I got the Archer and Olive And I also got a Quillograph uh, which are pens And I got the two sizes in the color called Tropical selection it's a uh, a mini haul from handwritings.dk and like i said i'll put the info down below so uh, first off i got this pilot pen um pilot detail c4 it's a really really fine black pen it's really super nice for for detail work and just writing with and like using it in my sketchbook so it's pretty much for that i might use it in my journal and then i got this washi tape cutter for 20 to 25 millimeter washi tape i don't actually use washi tape that much but i need it so yeah and then i have the archer and olive journal here and it's like super luxurious packaging both the journal and the pens i really, really love it so let's get this bad boy out so i got the one with the snake on it i think it's like called slivering gum or something like that but i want to show the info here and it's super wide uh and it's thick which is really the main reason why i decided that i wanted a archer and olive and it has this really, really nice texture, the fabric cover that I just love. I've been really in love with fabric covers these days. It just has this texturality that is really, really nice to, to grab it. It just feels like home. <laughs> and naturally, I had to get the snake because, well, we got snakes in real life. So it, it felt rather, you know, suitable <laughs> for me. And the pages are super wide, really, really nice. The dotting is easy to see, but not super prominent. I have had some journals where the dots were like almost pitch black and I hate it. So I don't want dots that are any more visible than the ones in here uh, they could be a little bit more faded even uh, and i would still enjoy it but i think they're super nice as is and you have two bookmarks in here and one has a little charm on the end that's really really cute and you naturally have the the back pocket which is a large, oh, see if I can get it, super large pocket on the back for all your necessities and a common blank page on the front. And so I'm really excited to get into this one. Super, super nice paper. And then we have the acrylograph. Um, and we have the tropical section, selection, sorry, the tropical selection in both uh, three millimeters and 0 0.7 millimeter tips. So let's get the 0 0.7 out first and just folds open so nice. It's like <laughs> such a joy. And they have the info on one page, all the pens sorted out, including a uh, transparent blender. And then they actually have this blending palette over here. I already tried out one of the pens because you have to activate them when you get them. So I'm going to activate them and then do a little swatch with you guys. I also forgot to mention another detail that I think is a really nice touch if I can get it out of here. They include 
two nips for you to use uh, if your pins get a little bit frail and naturally they are in the size that you ordered with the set. Okay, I got all the pens activated, so let's do some swatches. There's one thing that I noticed about these that is kind of annoying me a little bit. And it's the fact that you can't, if you store them in a, um, <laughs> a cup uh, or glass jar or something like I use, like to you do with my podcast and stuff. Um, you can actually see from the top of the pens, there is no indication of their size so when you have a two sizes of the same color you can't just see from the top of the pen which is which so that's kind of annoying so we got the the white pen and we got a colorless blind blender and not, I'm not going to use those I might use the fine tip white pen but the broad one I'm not going to use at this point uh but they seem pretty opaque so i'm thinking that i will keep the um white one for some paintings and stuff so just so you can see the difference in size as well okay. i'm not going super easy handed here so i'm gonna show exactly what they can and they kind of have this Posca feeling, but with more like a uh, uh, marker tip, uh, a fabric tip. I'm not sure if you call it a, a chisel tip. Uh, I think a chisel tip is like the one that's angled, right? I'm so not a marker artist, so I have like no clue. But the colors are nice, uh, a little bit muted really pretty and i'm sorry if i'm making a lot of noise i'll try to <laughs> keep it down keep forgetting to make a line over here but yeah it's a nice set of both bright colors but also some muted colors in between uh which is really nice to have um i also picked it because it had two greens usually i would pick a color scheme similar to the cool fall that they have uh, with some red and golden and yellow hues uh, but i really want to challenge myself into doing a bit more look this is pretty interesting it's supposed to be the same and the colors seem like they are the same on the paper, but the lips here are rather different. So that's interesting. I thought I would challenge myself to work a bit more with colors this time, get out of my comfort zone. And I also want my journal to be something that makes me smile something that lifts my mood and it will not because it's going to be like the first thing that i see every day when i do my to-do list um and it's going to be the last thing i see when i'm done doing work i need to cross off so it's really important for me that it makes me happy that's why I really want a luxury journal as well. I want something that feels nice and looks nice and is pleasant to work with. So 
I'm not sure I'm going to use this neutral grey much, but it's a nice touch that it's there. And then I have this white pen and it's quite opaque, so let's do a little test so you guys can see here. I'm just going to color this in and it needs to dry. So it's dry now. I'm going to use this white on top. It says to always shake before you use. And I can actually see myself using this white as a highlighter on watercolor and gouache paintings because it's really, really nice. And I'm having a lot of issues with my white Pusca pens for some horrible reasons. They, they don't want to work for me. And my gel pens are kind of 50-50, so <laughs> this is actually by accident the best white pen I have tried to date. I would just wish that... Well, there are like two things that I wish about these pens. Uh, one is that the size would be on the top lid. That would be really, really nice if you want, if you want to store them outside the box that they came in. And then I wish there was a smaller size than 0 0.7. I would love to have a 0 0.2 or, or even a 0 0.1 because it means you can make those really, really delicate details. And I'm not sure how well I'm going to do details with, with these pens. So this is the swatches and they're really pretty and opaque and nice looking. They have that matte sheen to them, kind of like a mix between acrylic and gouache. And as promised, there is absolutely no bleeding or ghosting or anything on this page. So it's just beautiful cars. So I want to test out a few Posca pens and I got a stack here. And I want to just test them out because I think I might be using some of them as well together with the acrylograph. And just like acrylograph, you have to shake them before use. So that's not too bad. I can see that these colors, I will try and take a photograph where the colors are adjusted actually, because the camera picks them up a bit darker than they are in reality. So, and still absolutely no ghosting with the Posca pen. So I also got this pilot pen and just to test it off and I think this is it. So now I am going to actually fill in this Bujo. Um, the Bujo video should be up rather shortly after this one. So I'll see you guys and remember coupon code down below for the Danish followers to get 10% off at handwritings.dk. See ya!